Today on Science Fiction and Fantasy Network, I'm talking to Chris Duncan. He is an artist who does these amazing metalwork arts. Uh, could you tell us a little bit how this idea came to you? Well, I've literally been working in metals now for 30 odd years now. So uh, the comic based stuff has been more recent. I've been probably doing that for the last 10 years. Uh, but when I started off in the art side of it, I sort of started by copying comics and stuff. So we've gone a bit full circle. I do other things, you know, than comics. But my newest stuff now is obviously some of this is big copper work but now I've started doing sort of re recycle stuff and using sort of beer cans I work on beer cans and, and the internal and the external sort of parts Could you tell us a little bit about what the technique is how you make these images? I'm not going to tell you everything because some of it's a secret I mean um, in, the, in the, the copper work it's very much sheet copper um, I draw onto it manipulate it from both sides and then I use uh, coloured metal leaf to spot colour it and then I isolate areas and I spray chemicals onto it so there's a process I have to go through. The can-based stuff, I have to go through a process to make it manipulate. I can manipulate it because the can is quite brittle, mm. you know. So I sort of cut the top and bottom off it and then cut it through the middle. And then I use characters like, obviously, I've got a Yoda down there or a Hulk, uh, which obviously a, a green-based one. So the, the, the process is where I can, you can see it's the, the character and then you see it's on a beer can. So it's very much a, a you know a, an art piece rather than sort of you know so that's I'm not going to tell you some of the <laughs> techniques because you know that's a trade secret. Uh, so how long have you been doing art? Were you uh, a painter or a drawer before you started doing this? I do. I went to fine art school and then I then went into a career in advertising design. I was quite successful, won lots of awards for that. But I've always been doing this as a sideline. Mm. This has always been my sideline because I went to art school. And now what I'm trying to do is the more commercialised advertising design and I want to sort of start pushing this. And so I'm testing the water. I've, I've sort of, a lot of my stuff, I'll sell my stuff in galleries, but I thought I'll give it a go at Comic Cons and stuff, particularly the comic based stuff. And I'm, get, I'm getting a good reaction. A lot, a lot of people saying they've never seen anything like it and they won't because I'm the only person who's doing it, you know, so. What's been your favourite piece to work on? The last one I've worked on is my favourite. I mean, I can, I, can, I can love something and then hate it. It's just something I sort of, you know, there's like the Hulk there. I still love the Hulk. So I've done a few Hulks, but each one's different because I can't recreate it. So there's always something different I like about it, you know, so. Is there something that attracts a certain character to this art form? Are there any characters you think, I wouldn't do that? Yeah, I don't know. It's a challenge. I look at something as a challenge, but it's something I, I just want to be interested in or I want to do. Are you into, I assume you're into those... Um Comics and comics. I'm just like any other this sort of vaguely geek. I'm not. I you could I, I you couldn't tell me everything. I couldn't know every character or this one. But I'm you know, it's something I've always been into as as from a from a teen. So what's uh, are you working on any right now? Uh, well, obviously not right now. But are there any in the works? Um, I'm constantly working. <laughs> I've got like um, I'm constantly doing work. I don't stop. And so I need to um, sell it as much as anything so but as I say I, I don't do it for the money I do it because I enjoy doing it uh, so where, where, if people are wanting to buy it do you have an online store or is it just galleries I've got a, a website which is littlefingeruk.com um, and you'll find comic based stuff and also fine art stuff but it's all a lot of it metal based uh, but also you'll see commercial sides of illustration I do and everything so do you have any uh, social media or anything like that, that yes I, I, my, my niece has got me involved in social media I'm a bit old school so mm -hmm. I'm on Instagram which is Littlefinger UK mm -hmm. I'm also on Twitter which is Littlefinger UK as well <laughs> that's just been prompted um, and I think I've got a, a Facebook presence but generally I go through the website We'll uh, put links uh, down below as well. Uh, thanks very much for talking okay, to us. It's been, it's been a great pleasure. Okay, thank Cheers. You.